What's up everyone? Welcome to the advanced calendar drawer number 13. Today I am talking about something that no drummer really talks about and that I don't find really in the internet and that is the response of the snare wire on your snare drum. So I have here my main snare drum and I want to show you why it is really important to have a good snare response. If we take a closer look on my snare drum, I'm using here the Canopus Vintage Dry Snare Wise and I am also using the Remote Diplomate Snare Side as my resonant head. And there is a very very important reason for that but before I tell you that I just want to show you how I have positioned the snare wires here so we see a little bit of clearance here and also here but the clearance here is much more smaller than the clearance here and that is the optimal position for the snare wires on the resonant head. And I have also tuned that resonant head really tight for a really important reason. But before I tell you the reason, I just want to remind you that you have to subscribe to my channel. So please subscribe to my channel and also click the bell button so you don't miss any videos in the future. All right, let's get back to the video. Well, as many of you know, or the majority of you know, I am a really dynamic drummer. And for that reason, I need a really, really good snare response that is so sensitive that when I tip my snare drum right here with my finger, I need to hear the snare wires. So let's do it. I can hear the snare wires and that is the optimal sensitivity, the optimal response for the snare wires. Some drummers find it a bit annoying when the snare wires are vibrating to the sound but for me it has a really important um, reason and the reason is I want to have the optimal snare wire response from the lowest of the lowest volume to the highest of the highest volume so when I grab a stick like that and I want to play the snare drum right here and I tip only with the stick one millimeter above the drum head, I need to hear the snare wires. So let me show you that. I'm hearing the snare wires and that is really 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 important for me and naturally I can change the snare wire response for a bit much more um, stronger harder and less sensitive response when I'm turning this knob right here on the throw off and I can change it from this really high sensitivity to a much more lower sensitivity by just turning it that way and then 
you can hear it is really tight and the snare is reacting much more slower but I don't want that but on different cases that is also really good naturally when you are a rock or metal drummer you don't need this high sensitivity for your snare rise because you don't play in low dynamics you play in higher dynamics and the snare wires don't need to react in this low volume except when you are playing ghost notes and you want to hear the snare rise. So there can be a huge discussion and we drummers can talk days and days and days about the snare wire response but uh, yeah, I just uh, wanted to show you that, that I need this really high response of my snowballs. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching and goodbye.